Hello everyone, so uh, let's not lose sight of what we're trying to achieve, we're trying to make a handheld games console. Hey hey, it's giveaway time, we're going to have a prize drawing, so here's Mrs Dubious. Oh, how did that happen? That's quite good, isn't it? And uh, what we're going to do is put them in a hat. Alrighty, so this is what we've made so far. We've made an enclosure. Um, so inside the enclosure, we're going to have a couple of uh, lithium ion cells, a Raspberry Pi, some power conditioning, some controller hardware, and then on top of the enclosure, is going to be a screen and we're going to have some bullet shells as press buttons which will work in conjunction with these buttons here. So that's pretty much uh, what, the, what the plan is at the moment. Uh, as far as ergonomics go, uh, there's going to be a little bit more of uh, moulding. We're probably going to kind of channel out the back of here so that you feel like you're gripping onto something and obviously all the buttons need to be up in this sort of area here uh, which is comfortable for, you know, manly Girly hands. Cheers. What are you doing, Richie? Taking it apart. Did you <laughs> test it worked first. <laughs> no, I haven't tested it actually, no. But yeah, it'd be good to see what's in it, won't it? And then really? At least we can. Uh, find out where we're going to position it in amongst this madness that seems to be going on. Sorry, I'm too slow. One more to go. In the wife's sewing room. It's got a crystal. Is it all of that bolted down? No. Yeah. No, no, that's bolted down. It's just right, stuck. So. There you go. Okay. So, uh, we've got one of those little uh, chip on board. Little, uh, little blob. Blob chips. Mm -hmm. And then, um, whoops, little rubber pastel buttons that make contact with these pads here. Okay, cool. And then a USB cable. Did that have much in the way of strain relief? Oh yeah, yeah okay, it gets wrapped, in and out around, this wrapped around those. Yeah, okay. So, so okay, yeah, cool. Here we go then. Let's see how quickly we can shove this together then. So off we go. We've got a little spanner, a little routed spanner. How cute is that? So, so um, um, <laughs> in this kit of parts that we got from modlypie.com, uh, there was a whole uh, assembly, a screen assembly, and we were just thinking actually to test this, we could just go ahead and build this, uh, plug that in, and off we go. Um, so yeah, it really is very modular. This just plugs into this guy. There's another little connector that plugs into the HDMI port, and um, plug five volts in and you'd be away. You know, obviously you need to download the software. So let's go ahead and build this, Rich. Right, high speed mode engaged. Yeah. Okay, first power up. We haven't uh, looked to see if there's anything on the on the board. Any lights coming on on the back ridge? Yeah, you've got a raspberry light on. Right, oh, um, yeah, just some, some good news, I suppose. We have just, uh, whoops, wrong way, installed um, 
an operating system on here, Raspbian. And as you can see, things are up and running. We did have to follow a few instructions, which came, thankfully, with the card, with the, with the display. So uh, you did have to put a, make a few modifications. So you do need um, a, a screen with an HDMI port to be able to plug this into. Now, one of the great things about this particular Pi is it already had Wi-Fi on it. So it connected to, to my Wi-Fi network, which was fantastic news. Um, and it also runs videos uh, at a reasonable display rate. You're boom. So hopefully, as I hope you can see, um, uh, it's not very dark in here, but I hope you can see, there we have a movie playing. Do, 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 do. And there's Richie! Hey! <laughs> oh, yes! The first boot of Retro Pi. And here it is, coming up. It was dead easy to install as well. And then, crikey mate, we could be playing games in moments. <laughs> Any problem is, is there's no audio, but I think I can solve that. Here, I have a game pad. Uh, right, so if we shove that in that hole there. Bonk. Right, I'll just grab another game pad. Okay, we've got uh, our controllers out. We've got a bunch of ROMs copied across. Rich is here, say hi Rich. Hi, Rich. <laughs> and uh, RetroPie is rebooting, so with a little bit of luck, uh, we'll actually be able to play a game in just a second. We've also, installed a little speaker so there we go let's just zoom you in so you can see what we're up to and there it is mega drive uh, a and there's micro machines go play it come on do it yes okay. <laughs> <Woohoo>! <laughs> ready for this are you ready okay Oh, there we go. Ooh, whoops. Tell you what though, the, the screen is fine to play on, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. The refresh rate is fine, so. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Tested. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, it's giveaway time. Right, look for this package if you win it. There's um, was it? Oops, tea, uh, candy, candy. It's an Americanism. Um, a little fluke uh, USB stick, a little fluke pen. We're gonna have a prize drawing. So here's Mrs. Dubious. Bing! Oh, how did that happen? That's quite good, isn't it? So here's the lovely Mrs. Dubious. There you go. These are all of the names. There's about 15 entrants. And uh, what we're going to do is put them in a hat, shake the hat, shake the hat, pull a name out of the hat. Awesome. Yeah. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? Oh, 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 look at that! It's Jason Andrews. Awesome, Jason. Yeah, send me, send me your 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 address somehow. Anyway. Watch out for this, Mr. Andrews, it's coming your way. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>